How do you use SinWire to rank a money site? Through social sites, tiers one and two, through guest posts. All right, so SinWire, at the end of the day, when it comes to SEO, right, the one of the main ranking factors for any website, whether it's a money site, okay, or you're trying to rank a video on YouTube, or you're trying to rank some third party URL for your, your uh, money keywords, right? The keywords you want to rank for. At the end of the day, backlinks, embeds, and social signals is what you need, right? At the end of the day, SEO is all about providing links, right? Getting links is like a vote, right? For your website to rank organically or your customer's website to rank organically. As far as I'm concerned, there's no faster way to get 50, 60 links, backlinks, embeds, or social signals to a website that are from quality sites than with SendWire, right? Think about that for a second. And for those of you guys that haven't been inside of SendWire ever, um, whether you bought it in the past um, or you haven't purchased it, uh, go take a look at SendWire.com and look at the network list that's on the website there. Okay, so I'll give you guys a second real quick. Just actually go over and do that. SendWire.com. <clears throat> and look at the list of websites. We just updated this like two days ago. Look at the list of websites that we submit content to. All of these sites have crazy domain authority that Google gives to them, right? Google doesn't call it domain authority. That's a, a, a metric by Moz, right? <clears throat> but all of these sites, without question, are very authoritative. Getting backlinks and beds and social signals from 60 of these sites, from 50 of these sites, from 70 of these sites, in the snap of a finger, right, doesn't get much simpler than thin wire. Give me a one if that makes sense to everybody, and just give me some feedback real quick, and then I'll go on to number two. All right, we got a bunch of ones in the chat. I think we're uh, good to go. I didn't see any other questions. All right, so that's part one. Just in general, you need backlinks. So whether you are working with a local client, whether you're working on an e-com site, backlinks is still the name of the game when it comes to SEO. I don't care what anybody says. Is on-page important? Yes. Do you need to have content on your site? Yes. Do you need to have pages that are optimized for keywords? Yes. Right? But none of that matters if you don't have any backlinks because you won't rank. There's too many websites out there. Okay, so when it comes to a local business or a business that you guys are probably providing services for, if you go and you look at your customers or your e-commerce sites competitors, right, in the marketplace, what you want to do is you want to look at the number of root domains and the quality of root domains that they have linking to them. So what I mean by that, root domains is the number of unique websites, right, that link to the website that you're trying to rank. And in most local markets and in most of the client sites that we see you guys taking on, they have 20, 30, 40 root domains. That means 20, 30, 40 individual websites linking to them. How many did I just say you could get with SimWire? Now, is that going to be some magic push button? You just submit one time and you're going to rank? No. Right? You're going to have to put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> Can it be that simple? Yes. So the other thing that I love, so, so root domains is something that you got to get down. I don't think that there's much of a faster way to get root domains and root domains that stick. Um, I find that there's other ways to get root domains like um, citations, but most citations, uh, they don't stick. So you get 300 citations and you know you come back and you look at the list um, a couple months later and you're down to 60. Right? You go get a press release and you pick up, you get, let's say, 60 links from a press release index, which is good these days, right? And you come back two months later and there's 11 indexed. For those of you guys that are nerds and FEO nerds like me, you stay on top of indexing, you know what root domains are, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. 
another thing is you start to as as you start to rank for keywords in Google and as you start to go after more and more and more keywords you're going to end up at some point having what i call orphaned pages on your website and these orphaned pages don't have any inbound links to them because they don't have any inbound links to them they don't rank very well on google or they may rank and then they may get an index because they don't have any links to them right and if they get on index they're not going to rank in google so if you got a big e-commerce site and you got dozens of categories and you got a hundred SKUs, you got thousands of SKUs, you're gonna have a big problem with orphaned pages does that make sense? If you can't get something indexed in Google, a page, right, that, that has an amazing product on it or a category page that has an amazing product on it that you're trying to rank, then it doesn't get indexed, then obviously you're not gonna be able to rank in Google, which means you're not gonna get eyeballs and you're not gonna get sales. Give me a three if that makes sense to everybody real quick. So one of the easiest ways for e-com guys to crush it with Sinwire, and this can be applied to everywhere, e-com is just a, a perfect example, right, is to rotate through your category pages, right, and do social posts, do blog posts, right, and drop links to all your major pages over time. Those index to keep links coming to them. I've literally had a page that brings me 100 visitors a week fall in and out of Google's index. So guess what we do now? My team, once a week, submits that out through Sinwire, and that keeps that thing ranking, and it keeps it indexed. So if you're not running e-com, this could be done with any type of page that you want to make sure stays ranking in Google. Any aha moments there, guys? Usman, I'm assuming we got a bunch of twos. It was threes, but yes, we had a bunch of them. <laughs> I lost count of my numbers. <laughs> 